May the peace be with all the children of God. Uh, thanks to the grace and also blessings of God that we can come before Him to worship Him. Uh, there's so much uh, thanksgiving in our heart. So may the Lord uh, bless all of us uh, this coming week of uh, peace. And this morning, there's a teaching for mutual encouragement is the vine tree that has been devoured by fire. And when we talk about the fire, uh, this uh, past summer, uh, this uh, Bowen Island, uh, there are a lot of trees that have been burned. And also in Canada, there are many forests that have been burned by fire. And why was there fire? Who lit up the fire? And that is due to a natural phenomenon. And why did it burn? Or maybe people will say that uh, the weather is being too dry. And I guess uh, for all of us who are living in North America, uh, this kind of phenomenon is quite common. But in the past recent years, we find that there, are more, uh, there were more uh, forest fires. And I believe that uh, there got to be a reason behind that. And so today we're talking about this teaching of the vine tree that has been devoured by fire. So the vine uh, that was uh, devoured by fire, there's always a reason behind it. So that's the reason why we need to study uh, the reason uh, why that uh, this vine tree was burned. Uh, please turn to the book of Ezekiel. Ezekiel chapter 15. Let's read verse 6. Verse 6. Let's read from verse 6 to 8. Let's read together. From verse 6. So, the people who are living in the world 我必向他们变脸他们虽从火中出来火气要烧灭他们我向他们变脸的时候你们知道我是神第八节我必使地土方凉因为他们行事干换我这是主神说的阿门从刚才我们所读的这几节的圣经节 so from the passage that we have just read, and it's a description of how the woods of the vine that has been useless. And there was a reason why it was served uh, as a fuel. And the reason is because uh, the face of God has turned against them. So God is righteous. God is also stern. And this is the reason why this phenomenon happened to the Israel Israelites. And over here it talks about the vine tree. The vine tree represents the people of Judah. Or uh, it is representing uh, the city of Jerusalem. 
So uh, the people of God or the chosen ones of God has been treated as divine tree. 主要原因，当时的犹大民族非常的崇拜这些偶像假神。And the reason why in those days, uh, Israelites they uh, worship idols. They are in Jerusalem. And in this city of Jerusalem. And then later, they were captured by the Babylonians. Or even at the time when they had been captured uh, at the city of Babylon. They saw that the place was all idols. And all the places they had been were uh, places uh, worship idols. So they were very fond of asking these false gods. And many of the Israelites they love to ask、uh, advices、uh, from the false prophets. Of course, among them、uh, there are also devout ones. But these devout people, they have been asking God. But the devout,、uh, did they actually、uh, focus in asking、uh, God's will? These devout people, they are still asking the false prophets and worshiping false gods. These devout people. And even for the devout ones,、uh, they follow、uh, the way that the rest of the people are asking for the advice from the false prophets. That 根据以西结书的十四章啊。And according to Ezekiel chapter fourteen. 在十四章的第一节开始啊。Uh, let's read、uh, Ezekiel chapter fourteen verse one. 在这里头就描述当中呢，以色列民当中有几个长老就来到了先知的面前。So over here,、uh, it talk about a few elders that came before the prophet. 那那个时候呢，神的话也就临到了先知啊。And the words of God came upon the prophet. 啊，就提到说，人子啊，这些人已经将他们的假神接到心里，啊，并把他们献在罪的绊脚石，放在面前。So over at verse three, it says, "Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their hearts and put before them." That which causes them to stumble into iniquity. So, from their conversation, we can see that they are very desirous to ask these false prophets. And from this、uh, verse, that you understand that、uh, people in those days they love to worship idols. So, how did God answer them? So, how did God answer them? In the sixth chapter, seven and eight. In the sixth chapter, seven and eight. In the sixth chapter, seven and eight. 耶利，那个以西结先知就回答了。So over here, a prophet Ezekiel answered. 神要亲自以刑罚来答复他们。第几节？没有了，这个我讲的。哦 ，OK。哦，呃，神，神亲自以刑罚来答复他们。So God has answered them with punishment. 所以这里所告诉我们的这些事情的经过。So we understand uh the entire uh Uh, process of this happening. 也等于是说呢，啊，这个耶路撒冷会遭遇到这种情形，是无可避免的一种灾难。Uh, it is unavoidable for the city of Jerusalem、uh, to encounter this kind of calamity. 从圣经里头所记载的话可以看出来。And you can understand that from the words、uh, recorded in the Bible. 这些耶路撒冷的居民啊，对神啊。有一点太轻慢的。And people in、uh, in the city of Jerusalem, they just show God their contempt. 所以也就招惹了神的愤怒。And that's the reason why God was enraged. 那根据以西结书的十四章的十字十四节也有说到。And also at chapter fourteen, verse fourteen of book of Ezekiel also mentioned. 在十四节说到有挪亚。但以理、约伯这三个人，只因他们的义，救了自己的性命。And over here it says, uh, three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job,、uh, were in it. They would deliver only themselves by their righteousness. 这这意思说呢，啊、呃，虽然当中有这些异人呢，啊、呃，这三个人也是只有救他们自己啊。Uh, this means to say that、uh, even among them, they have the righteous ones, but even the righteous ones, they can only save themselves. Which means to say that their righteousness cannot save the rest of the Israelites. 无法去啊，这种啊，耶路撒冷城的灾难无法去避免。There's no way、uh, that the calamity that happened to city of Jerusalem、uh, can ever be avoided. So from these verses, 
So if you look at all these verses, it brought about teachings. 告诉我们说，应该呀要多多灵修自己。That we have to pursue a spiritual uh this uh cultivation. 免得帮哎，免得变成葡萄树木，当啊柴把它烧掉了。Or we will be likened to the woods of the vine, uh that will be burned as fuel. 所以啊，今天呢，我们从这个葡萄树被火焚烧的整个过程上。So if you look at how this woods of the vine that has been burned in the fire, 最主要就是勉励我们不能成为葡萄树木被火焚烧。And we know that uh the teaching within it is that uh we should not become one of the wood of the vine that has been burned in the fire. 所以这个就是我们在追求这种信仰生活里头必须要特别谨慎，以及自己属灵上去多多领受自己的思想。In the days where we pursue after our spirituality, uh, this is something that we need to pay attention to. This vine tree can also treat it uh, as a tree that is living. And also it uh, represents us as, as a living person. Of course, when the vine tree dies, uh, it will go into the fire for fuel. 那人死了是怎么办呢 ？So how about uh, when men died? 当然跟树木被焚烧是一样的。Of course, in the same way uh, that when human died, uh, will be burned. 所以看到葡萄树被火焚烧。So if you look at how this woods of the vine that has been burned, 来想到我们自己的灵命的追求。You can relate that uh, to how we pursue our spirituality. And all these have uh, uh, very close ties uh, uh, with one another. So in order to avoid ourselves from being burned today, so especially when we talk about our own physical body, and we have to exercise and also train our body. Otherwise, we will have uh, perished uh, much sooner. And we also try to avoid to be buried. And we need to know uh, how can we keep up with our spirituality. And what should we do uh, in order to improve our spirituality? So let's look at how Paul has encouraged uh, Timothy. First Timothy chapter four. First Timothy chapter four. Let's read verse eight. Verse eight. 操练身体益处还少，唯独敬虔，凡事都有益处，因有今生和来生的应许。For bodily exercise profits a little, but godliness is profitable for all things. Having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. From the encouragement from Paul that we understand, that we have to always emphasize our spiritual growth. Of course, we need to be careful of our health, our status of our spirituality. Because when we are healthy spiritually, can we prolong our spiritual life? And that's the reason why Paul said over here that there is a promise of the life that, is, uh, that now is and of that which is to come. So, uh, from the teaching of the vine that has been burned in the fire, that we know uh, that we have to pursue after our spirituality. And these has uh, equal importance. So, today, we 
啊，早上也也要根据啊这个圣经了解到如何来做我们灵命的保养与健康的追求。And this morning we would like to talk about how can we keep up、uh, the health、uh, status of our spirituality. 其实这种灵命的保养没有什么秘诀的。As a matter of fact,、uh, there is no mystery about Uh, our spiritual life. So, in the morning, we raise some points to share for sharing. A few points for sharing. First, one. And one. To be hungry. That we need to be eager、uh, of spiritual food. Why? Why do we need to be hungry? Why do we need to be hungry over spiritual food? Just now, we read Ezekiel chapter fourteen, verse one. In Ezekiel chapter fourteen, verse one. 在这里头，我们看到国中啊啊有一些长老。It says over here there are、uh, elders in the nation. 照理讲，长老他们的灵性应该是比一般人还要强多几倍。And you would have thought that the elders of the nation,、uh, their faith is way better than the rest of the people. 那根据刚才我们所读的以西结书的十四章的第一节。So let's go back、uh, to Ezekiel chapter fourteen, verse one. 所说的就是说，以色列的长老来到了先知的面前。And it says over here, some of the elders of Israel came to,、uh, came before the prophet. 那这个时候呢，神的话就临到了以西结先知了。And that is when the words of the Lord that came to the prophet 就告诉说，这些这些长老呢，他们呢、啊，也迎接了假神在他们的心里呀、啊。And over、uh, at verse three, it talk about how they have accepted idols in their hearts. 甚至把现在罪的绊脚石也放在他们的面前了。And even they have caused themselves to stumble、uh, into iniquity. 为什么长老他会这么做 ？And why did elders、uh, did such a thing? 一个很主要的原因。The basic reason was. 这些长老就是缺少从真神而来的灵粮。That the elders they are simply lacking of the words from God. 好坏不分 And they could not discern good from bad. 真假神分不出，分辨不出来 They could not discern a false god from true god. 所以就把这些假神这些偶像的道理提到先知以西结的面前 And that's the reason why they have brought、uh, this idol before the prophet. 这个就是国中长老他们所带来的一种灾祸 And this is the very disaster、uh, that the elders has brought about to the nation. These 长老竟然没办法去发现到在他们所居住的地方啊。And it's unimaginable that the elders could not、uh, have found themselves、uh, causing these trouble. 在这个耶路撒冷的地方也好 ，so 也也好，也可以啊。And it also applies to this city of Jerusalem. 连被掳到巴比伦这个地方啊，也。都啊，都都有那个拜偶像的现象啊。Or even、uh, for people who has been captured、uh, to Babylon,、uh, they also、uh, worship idols. 竟然这些长老无法去分辨啊。And you just cannot imagine that these elders they just cannot、uh, discern. 把偶像、把假先知当成真神对他的一种啊、uh, 追求。They have treated the idols. As also the、uh, false prophets as their true god to worship. So, think about it. Like this kind of situation, their people, their people, their souls, how do they get healthy? So, think about this. How in、uh, how were they be able to uh, obtain uh, the health of their spirituality under this kind of circumstances? We all know that this body must be maintained. And we know that even for our physical body, we need to keep up. Our health. 为了让我们的身体能够保持健康。And for the reason of being healthy. 所以现在非常重视什么有机的食物啊。So a lot of people were emphasizing on organic foods these days. 虽然有机的食物呢，问题你如果没有吃，哎，几天会死掉嘞。And 没有吃没有吃那个有机的食物，几天也会死掉了。So uh, for some, uh, if they don't. Uh, consume organic foods for several days, they may die. So you know that this is a kind of nutritious food. This is a kind of food. You know that、uh, those are nutritious、uh, food. If you don't eat it, it is also nutritious. 
If you don't eat those nutritious food, uh, you will not gain any nutrients. So today, there are many people who are always promoting this health and fitness. So a lot of people these days they emphasize a lot on、uh, nutrients of food. So these health experts often point out that to pursue health and fitness, we should remove these things. So the、uh, nutrition、uh, experts they always promote、uh, how you should eat healthily and also nutritiously. This is for 啊，身体健康必须努力去追求个人的一种营养尝试。And the main goal is to pursue after one's、uh, physical healthy, uh, healthiness. 这种尝试虽然大家都知道。Of course,、uh, we all know this kind of、uh, how to keep、uh, our our body healthy. 不过呢，在我们的市场上仍然有很多的啊这种热色的食物啊。But there's still a lot of junk food that you find、uh, in the market. 尤其有很多人对这种热色的食物非常的喜欢呢、啊。And there are also people who love to uh, uh, consume junk food. 所以吃了对我们的身体都没有什么啊、uh, 帮助的。And all those junk food will never、uh, bring you health. 甚至会危害我们的健康啊。Even to the point it harm your health. 所以这种热色食物我们还是尽量少吃啊。Therefore, we need to、uh, try to avoid all this junk food. 这是我们的身体的一种保养尝试说的了。So all these are just a, a very ordinary、uh, knowledge that you should have in terms of preserve,、uh, preserve, preserving your own physical health. 那今天呢，我们这种灵命啊，也一样要去保养。In the same way it applies to our spirituality, we need to keep up to the healthy healthiness of our spirituality. 那在这种保养里头呢，最好的办法也就是。And the way that we can keep up to our spiritual health、uh, is to read more Bible. 能够多多吸取这种属灵的灵粮啊。And you need to consume more spiritual food. 这样子，神的话才成为我们一种属灵的一种力量的帮助。And this is how the words of God will bring about strength、uh, to you. 所以，教会鼓励大家呢，就是要常聚会。And the church always encourage members to Uh, attend church services frequently. And you need to、uh, read the Bible more. 甚至呢，能够啊，在这种之外，要多祷告。Other than all these,、uh, you should pray more. 那这样子就可以帮助我们的灵命啊，更加的茁壮起来。And this is how we、uh, make our spirituality stronger. 所以从这里可以知道，我们这种啊，聚会领受神的灵粮是无等啊，那个无比的重要啊。When we come to church services,、uh, this is very important for us. A way, a very important way、uh, for us to receive、uh, spiritual food. So, our leaders must be very careful. And that's the reason why, even for board members,、uh, we need to emphasize on、uh, the intake of spiritual food. We cannot just give this food to our members. And we should not just dump、uh, those junk food、uh, over to the members of the church. But this is my description. And this is my own description of it. I just say, if our nutrients are like junk food, I see we are all drug addicts. I'm just saying that、uh, if we treat、uh, the spiritual foods just like junk food, I believe they will be、uh, poisoned. It will also affect our spiritual health. And to the point where it will affect our spiritual life. That we, every person's heart, how to do? So how should we do? We look at Peter's encouragement. And we should look at the encouragement from Peter. We look at Peter's encouragement. Let's turn to First、uh, Peter chapter two. Peter's encouragement, second chapter, verse two. First Peter chapter two, verse two. Peter's encouragement, second chapter, verse two. First Peter chapter two, verse two. 第二节， Verse、就要爱慕那纯净的灵奶，像财神的婴孩爱慕奶一样，叫你们因此见长，以致得救。阿门。刚才我们所读的这一段的圣经啊， so、from the verse we read, 也就是说呢，我们如果有啊、呃、多多吸吸吸收灵粮， if we,、uh, if we eat more spiritual food, 就像。婴孩爱慕纯净的灵奶一样。And just like unto the newborn baby that、uh, they desire、uh, the pure milk of the word， 这样子婴孩就可以慢慢去成长
That is how they grow. And this will lead us uh, to a stronger spiritual life and then eventually be saved. So it's so important for us to uh, eat all the spiritual food. So and also the edification that uh, brings about uh, on the podium is very important. If uh, no one can gain any spiritual nutrients uh, from the words from the podium, and can it bring about salvation to you? So this is what and this is a reason why we need to emphasize the importance of uh, eating spiritual food. Let's turn back uh, to the book of Ezekiel, chapter 16. Book of Ezekiel, chapter 16. Let's read verse 4. Verse 4. Verse five. Verse five. Uh, so from the verses that we read, and this is telling us uh, there's another thing that we need to emphasize on. In order for our spirituality to be stronger, uh, it is important to say that we need uh, to uh, take more spiritual food. And then from the verse that we read, that we need to uh, clean up our environment. And from the environment that we live in today, if it's uh, filthy, our body, our physical body will never be healthy. And when our physical body is not healthy, how are you supposed to grow? And that's the reason why it's very important to have a clean environment. And from the verses that we read, and the uh, city of uh, Jerusalem has been uh, uh, described uh, as a filthy city. At uh, verse 4 that we read. So within such an environment, it was not provided a clean one. So in the city of Jerusalem, So this uh, infant has been uh, has been thrown into the open field. So over at verse five it says that uh, no I pity you uh, to do any of these things for you to have compassion on you. And then there was no one to cleanse it. So that uh, uh, it was not clean. And also you were not rubbed with salt. Nor wrapped in swaddling clothes. So the description here. And it's talking about the city of Jerusalem, how that has been uh, abandoned. So so uh, over uh, when I look at verse four, I describe it as a, a, a large female baby. And then in verse five, 
Over at verse 5, my description of it uh, is a baby that has been uh, thrown out into the open field. And all these are the description of the city of Jerusalem at that time. And let's continue on uh, reading verse 6. So from uh, what verse 6 uh, was describing, the I over here refers to God. So uh, the Lord God uh, was passing by uh, this large uh, female baby. So uh, he has pit- pity uh, over this uh, female baby that has been thrown out. So from verse six to ver- uh, verse four to six that we understand. Even though this uh, female uh, baby that has been thrown out, and then also the field uh, that has been uh, uh, corrupted, and the blood was. Uh, he, uh, the baby has uh, all kinds of blood stain over it. So from this uh, that you understand, that is very important that we need to have a clean environment. And then look at uh, the, the, the lands that we live today. And when I said that I pursue after my physical health, but are we actually living in a healthy environment? And if you talk about the air, the air has been polluted. And if you talk about water, water uh, has been contaminated. And if you talk about uh, this uh, land, the land has been also contaminated. And other than the things that we could see with our eyes that have been corrupted, and when you look at your heart, your spirit, uh, those has been uh, uh, contaminated as well. And you notice that uh, right from inside to outside, everything has been uh, uh, contaminated. And this kind of contamination is serious. And if you look at the environment uh, where this uh, female baby that has been thrown out, I believe that none of us can survive it. And that's the reason why it is uh, very critical to have a cleanse a clean environment. So when we notice that our uh, the surroundings and also environment that we're living in is corrupted, but yet uh, we need to have the words of God to cleanse our hearts. And we need uh, the guidance and also protection of the Lord uh, in those things that uh, we are falling short of. In fact, uh, uh, these are the most important things that we should pursue. So if you notice the environment is not clean, you should not get close to it. And if you notice there are things that is filthy, oh, do not touch it. And God uh, has, has uh, uh, the words of God has been uh, uh, told by the workers of God to us. Uh, please turn to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 6. 哥林多后书六章, 2 Corinthians chapter 6, 十七节, verse 17, 十七节, verse 17, 
，又说：“你们务要从他们中间出来，与他们分别，不要沾不洁净的物。”我就收纳你们。十八节，我要做你们的父，你们要要做我的儿女。这是全能的主说的。保罗来用了主他所吩咐、所明的话。So Paul has used the words of God to encourage people at that time. 神让啊哥林多教会的信徒能够分别为圣。So God allowed the uh the members of the church of Corinth to be able to discern good from bad. 所以又明说，不要沾染不洁的物。It says uh here that they should not uh be in touch with all those unclean things. 保罗还特别强调说出，这是全能主说的。And all these are the words from uh, the God that is Almighty. 可见这种分别为圣的啊事情物品是无比的重要。Therefore, it's very important for us to uh, be able to discern unclean things from the clean things. 也告诉我们说呢，也等于是告诉我们说，我们不要去混淆，去混乱。And this is also uh, telling us that we should not be involved in any kind of confusion. The Bible tells us that when it's yes, say yes; when it's no, say no. Yeah, this is the Lord to Paul so say, then to encourage the Corinthian church. And the Lord has told the members such words through the words of the prophet. So today, we are in the environment. So in the environments that we live today, we must avoid sinning. We need to depart ourselves far uh, from sinning. 甚至要懂得来躲避损牛。Even to the point that we need uh, to know how we can shun away from sinning. 更要去远离世俗。And we need to depart ourselves from worldliness. 唯独这么做才可以来保持属灵干净环境。And that is how we can keep up uh, with a clean spiritual environment. 那这么做呢，就是要让我们的灵命得到健康。And to do that, uh, it is only to promote a healthy spiritual life. Let our spirit be more strong. So that our spirituality will become stronger. Ah, 再来第三呢，我要讲的就是说，你要塑造一个有爱的环境。And the third point I would like to share is to uh make a environment of love. 我们再看回到以西结书的十六章。Uh, please return to Book of Ezekiel, chapter sixteen. 十六章 Ezekiel chapter sixteen. 我们来看第五节 Let's read verse five. 十六章的第五节 Chapter sixteen, verse five. 谁的眼也不可怜你，为你做一件这样的事来连续你，但你出生的日子仍在田里，是因你被厌恶。六节 Verse six. 我从你旁边经过，见你坟在雪中，就对你说：你虽在雪中。能可存活？你虽在雪中，能可存活？刚才所看的这些的经节 ，so from the verse we read， 也就是这个被弃掉、被放弃的这个女弃婴啊。So this uh female uh infant that has been thrown into the open field， 非常荣幸的有神的爱同在的地方。And this infant was uh, uh fortunate enough. Uh, to be safe and also to be accompanied by God. So, in the sixth verse, it says, "I passed by you." And verse six, it said here, "And when I passed by you." Of course, this this time, that you you passed by you, the passing 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 by you, 就是可以有神爱所同在的地方。And they have the uh the baby has the abundance of the love of God。如果是人啊，如果是人啊，人没有从那边经过，我看这个女青早就死掉了。If no one passed by uh this infant, this infant could have been dead long ago。但是呢，这个神啊，从那边经过。But then God passed by him。也就神同在。Uh, which means that, that there is abundance of God. So, 神同在，就有神的爱的领导。When there is abundance of God, there is love of God. 虽然她是女巨婴，可是神爱她。Even though it's a it's a discarded baby, uh, but God still loves it. 
虽然他整个身体都是血。Even though、uh, the baby was full of blood, and also been thrown into the open field, and even、uh, the baby has been loathed、uh, by people. So, 真的，当时的女巨婴真的很可怜。And that baby is very、uh, pitiful. 如果不是神看重她 ，It's not because God has has looked highly upon it. 她早就没生命了。And this baby could have lost his life long ago. And God has loved、uh, this infant with immense love. Let this baby be able to survive. And this is why this baby can survive. Not only can it survive, and not only this、uh, infant can survive, and also、uh, God pity it. And to to、uh, bring it up, 甚至用花冠啊、哦，这个美服来装扮它。And also to adorn it、uh, with crown and nice clothes. 甚至呢，还跟他缔结婚约啊。And also、uh, to、uh, have a marriage covenant. 可是呢，这个女巨婴长大之后啊。So after this、uh, baby grow up, 竟然去向外人去烧火融资啊。So this this grown up uh, uh, baby uh, that that、uh, were were flirting around with people, 更去啊纵欲行行淫啦 ，and also involved in adultery. 所以因此呢，神就来严严的处罚这个不贞的妻子。And God punished it. 所以从刚才我们所谈的这些事情看 ，so from the things that I've mentioned. So this、uh, female baby that grew up and then did not love herself properly, 更不爱惜她的身体 ，and she did not、uh, treat her own physical body preciously, 更去玷污了自己的身体 ，and she defiled herself. 保罗曾经勉励啊啊这个有所教诲啊。And Paul once、uh, this encouraged the, the church in Ephesus. That no one ever hate his own body. And they will always have to treasure their own body, just like how Christ has treated uh, this uh, church. So, ah, Paul also commanded these words. From the words、uh, of encouragement of Paul, 就是勉励我们要好好来照顾我们属灵的灵命。Is encouragement to us that we need to take good care of our spirituality. 因为在哥林多前书的六章里头也告诉我们了。And also at First、uh, Corinthians chapter six, it tells us. 因为我们这个身子就是圣灵的殿。That our body is the very temple of Holy Spirit. 也就是从神而来的。It is from God. And the Holy Spirit dwells in us. So, so this way, we are not belonging to our own body. So our body no longer belongs to us. That is of Christ. And it is of Christ. The Bible also encourages us. And the Bible also encourages us. Because God has bought us with a heavy price. So God has bought us with a heavy price. So God has bought us with a heavy price. So God has bought us with a heavy price. So God has bought us with a heavy price. So God has bought us with a heavy price. And why did he say that? Yeah, 让我们的身体来荣耀神。That our body should be used to glorify God. 所以今天我们要好好来爱惜我们这个灵命啊，我们这个身体啊。And that's the reason why we need to、uh, take good care of our spiritual、uh, spirituality these days. 如果我们这么做的话，我们灵命就会越来越健康。And if you do so, our、uh, spirituality will become healthier by the day. Our this spiritual vine tree will grow up slowly. And this spiritual vine tree will grow up slowly. And this spiritual vine tree will grow up slowly. And this spiritual vine tree will grow up slowly. And this spiritual vine tree will grow up slowly. And this spiritual vine tree will grow up slowly. And this spiritual vine tree will grow up slowly. And this spiritual vine tree will grow up slowly. And this spiritual vine tree will grow up slowly. And this spiritual vine tree will grow up slowly. And this spiritual vine tree will grow up slowly. Vine that will be burned in the fire. 最后被火焚烧了。And eventually burned by the fire. 我用一个形容啊。So I have this des、uh, description. 我我想我们每个人哈、哦、都会很喜欢自己的车子也好。I believe that、uh, all of us love、uh, the cars that we own. 哦啊，有一些比较爱花爱园艺的这些人。And there are some that love、uh, their plants in their garden. 哇，他就很喜欢来养这个花。And there are people who just love、uh, flowers. 天天来花这边看 
And then every day they look at the flowers. Hey, is there enough water for the plant? Uh, is the plant going to die? Or if uh, this uh, plant has been infested with, uh, with uh, insects? And because uh, the person loved the flower. Of course, uh, it also applies to the cars that you love. And some people treat cars as their second life. And uh, such a person never take good care of uh, their family. But all they do is take good care of the car they have. They'll try to wipe out all the uh, the dirt uh, from the car. And not only uh, wiping the car, they also wax the car. And also to put on uh, this protection uh, film on the car. Because the person loved the car uh, very much. Therefore, as we talk about the body that we have today, we should treat it just like the car that we love uh, the same way. And treat it uh, just like the flowers that we love. And that's how we keep uh, this vine tree alive. So from what we have talked about so far in the morning, it's telling us that we need to cultivate our spirituality. If you don't cultivate your spiritual, uh, spiritual body, uh, your vine tree will someday perish. Because we are of Christ. And Christ is this true vine. And we're just one of the branches. And that's the reason why we, we should not allow these branches to be dried up. And not only so, we should uh, take good care of this vine tree so that it can grow a lot of fruits. And all we do is to glorify and also exalt uh, God. And in our spiritual life, if we're able to uh, hold on to this uh, important point, I'm certain that God will love us even more. And we'd like to conclude the service at this point. Let's sing him. Please sing him number 377. 